capital T films. You gotta love this shit. Capital T films is not playing out here. This is the real shit. You guys gotta get yourself on here. Yeah, shit. get yourself on here, fam. I'm telling you. Shout out capital T films for coming through. Yeah. They're taking over the channel. That's it. Get it. Okay, welcome back to another episode of the interview series. Let them know where I interview uh, Toronto creative and um, artists just around the city. So today we have Roach Boy Slim. <laughs> thank you for coming through. Hey, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, B. And how did you, did you ever start with that name? That that name. How'd you get that name? Okay, okay. So uh, you probably don't know, but I got a couple tats and uh, and me and my boy since we was really young, we started this, this Roach Boy movement, right? Mm. Uh, it's because we were just broke at the time but, like you know <laughs> now it's turned into something else and like we got people joining up everybody wants to be a roach boy everybody wants to do this and that and, you know we're gonna turn it into something like not like gang related but like music related you know instead something that can make us money and something that can like i don't know like i don't know i don't personally i don't want to work a, a dead-end job for the rest of my life so you know like that's that's the way for me you know okay so just tell me about you know where you're coming from and how you got involved in music Fuck. Uh, I don't know. I've always been in the music since I was a kid, but like, like off and on, like I was one of those like kind of quitters, you know, like mm-hmm. I, I do guitar for like a couple weeks or some shit and I quit. But like, I don't know. I, I started making beats when I was like 16, 16, 17 years old. And after that, I just uh, I just kept going on music. I kept making beats and stuff. And eventually I started I moved out to Toronto and I started rapping. Mm-hmm. And uh I don't know. That, that's just where it all started, and uh, I started releasing bare tracks at the time. And like, honestly, most of them they were they're pretty trash. I ain't gonna lie, but like, you know, I, I guess I kind of liked them. Like, you know, that's how it was. I released them, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it was. I just started like a bit ago. Mm-hmm. So was it people you were around? Or is it just like something you just came here and just said, okay, I'm gonna pick it up and do it? Like, what made you say, okay? I'm going to record myself. Uh, yo, I, th- I think it's because I always love, like, really old school rap. Like, Big L. Fuck the, mm. I don't know. Big L is my, my shit, man. Like, especially. Like, that was the thing I fucked with. But every th- everything else, like, like Biggie, Tupac, that was also the shit, too. Like, you know, that was all I listened to when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. And, and I grew up, and I was like, like, yeah, like, I got dreams about doing other stuff and art and shit. But, like, the, what I most want to do is music. Like, you know? And I guess I kind of, like, followed in their footsteps. And I'm trying to follow in their footsteps in a way, you know. Mm-hmm. So you're a new artist. You just like establishing yourself still. Yeah, still, yes. Okay, so how long have you been like since you recorded like your first song that you or you're proud of? I should say. <laughs> yeah, first song that I'm proud of. Fuck, it, it's it's probably been like, it's again like five months, man. Mm-hmm. And okay. like I, I've got stuff on the back burner that I've been recording since then. But it's like you know it's good. It's it's great. But like, I'm not too proud of it. Mm-hmm. So like I'm just. I'm trying to get more stuff out so people can see, like, you know, better stuff, like, you know, and trying yeah. to, like, progress. Okay, because when I talk to, like, to artists and they're like, I'm like, oh, when did you start? And they're like, oh, I started this, but I wasn't proud of that. So this is, like, I feel like once you have, like, your track and, like, the one that you like, and it's like, I feel like that's, like, the official start where, like, you actually have the confidence because you might get, like, good feedback from it and you're just like, yeah, I'm an artist, you know what I mean? So, okay. And tell me about just um, I'm Chosen. I think that was the first track that I listened to of yours. And because that was like a different vibe for me, yeah. I was like, I was iffy on it. And then I was like, oh, okay. Like, I, 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 I didn't, like, I, I listened to it the whole way through. So I was like, it was good, but I felt it was weird to me because, like, it was a different style I wasn't used yeah, to. Like, so tell me just about, like, your your influence and, like, how uh, okay. you go on creating your music. So, <laughs> especially with it, that song itself, I, I get what you're saying. That that's kind of like, uh, I guess as I wrote that for somebody, right, at the time. So I guess it's kind of like a different vibe, and like the whole beat itself is completely different. So you're kind of like, it's, it's like pianos the whole way. Like you know, like I don't listen to pianos the whole way the whole time, right? Mm. But you know, I, I I guess I tried it out with something different, and I, I guess it sort of worked out a little bit. Like people listened a little bit, but that's just how it went. Mm. Um, you know. Fuck man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's th- is that your most played track? Yeah, it's my, it's my most played track right now. You'll, you'll just wait, uh, wait two months. I'll have some other tracks coming out. They're gonna get way more plays. Just watch. Uh, you already know. Okay. And what? Just what is the culture when you when you came to Toronto? Like, what year was that? It wasn't too long ago. Yeah, honestly, it was like a year and a half ago. Year now. Ago? Yeah. What was just just the culture like around like music? When you actually look and see, like, okay, who are some of the underground guys here? Like, what's the studios here? Like, what do you think of it? Like, what? Honestly, I didn't think much. Like, honestly, at the time, I I still 
like I don't know enough of Toronto rappers, but like mm-hmm. I, at the time I still I didn't think much of anybody in Toronto, like you know. Um, but now that you're looking more and more into it, there's a lot of people that are on the come up in Toronto, especially. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is like the city for talent right now. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I didn't really have any like uh, I didn't really know any Toronto rappers or anything like that. So I. I I don't know, I kind of have this, like, love-hate kind of thing, you know? Like, I don't really, I don't love them, but I don't hate them, you know? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And just tell me a little about, like, your grind and, like, trying to get yourself out there. What are some things that you're you're working on now that's, other than just recording music, like, I don't know, like, whether you're doing something to promo or merchandise, like, what are some things you're doing <laughs> to sort of establish yourself? Okay, well, I'm definitely trying to promote myself. Like, it's promo every day, right? Mm-hmm. But, I mean, merchandise itself is probably going to be coming in early 2019. I'm going to try oh, to get okay, merchandise yeah. pumped out to people, that, you know, that are listening to my music every day and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it is right now. And, obviously, I'm going to try to expand my music to other platforms, especially. Mm-hmm. And so, your fan base. Tell me a bit about that. Like, who who's kind of, like, your circle? Because I know some people, when they start, they're like, oh, it was just, like, my high school friends and then maybe it started off and it got big in this area like yeah. do you sort of know like where your music is going like where i i see it a lot like at the moment um at first it started off obviously just like my friends and stuff they listened to it and then mm. i don't know i guess i just uh, i promoted myself enough because i didn't have money at the time i was just uh i was just doing my own promotion mm. um i promoted myself enough that people the word started getting around and uh, i don't know like a lot of younger kids like they listen to my music and I don't know there's this one kid that got like a Roach Boys tat like, on him and stuff and I don't even know the really kid. yeah it's like man <laughs> it's like I think he's in like grade like 10 or something too like how the hell he got like stick and poked on his arm like bro okay he's going hard for you guys yeah man. you know <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even playing with that it's crazy I know he like it was real <laughs> no it's for real man I think his name's like a, a Deb or something Oh man! Shout out to you. I guess. He's <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of cringy, eh? <laughs> okay. All right. And so, what 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 would you tell me? Like, is um your your favorite track of yours? And uh, like, uh, Roach Boy Slim is back a hundred percent. Like, I don't know. I made that beat, and I made uh, I made a couple of my beats. Um, and I think that's probably my favorite track. Mm. Not even just because of the lyricist. I, I don't know. I think it's because of the beat and the way it flows. Like, that's all it is. You know. Hmm. Okay. Do you find it's hard? Like, what are some of the difficulties sort of coming up just in the music scene? Oh, bro, uh, ex- just attention. 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 Is the, the hardest thing, right? And, like, promotion is really hard. If you don't have money, promotion's really hard, mm-hmm. you know? So that's why you got to stack up your bread and you got to promote yourself. And I said this before, like, a lot of people, because they're like, man, this is not working for me. What can I do? Like, they'll go to, like, gimmicks and they'll yeah. they'll try and put on a front and do something because, you know, a lot of the music pages, they gravitate towards bullshit the easiest. If you have a video of yourself, like, jumping off of something or yeah, I know, fighting right? someone, there goes, bro. boom, you get <laughs> the attention. And people think, okay, people are going to go this my music. Career. But do you think you'll you won't ever get into that or is there like something you'll do but there's a fine line yeah there's definitely a fine line i definitely i don't know i'm not like a, an attention seeker i definitely don't like do that kind of stuff um i i don't think that would be a good reason to like have people want to listen to my music like and get interested in it i'd rather people just get interested in it on its own you know yeah so i don't want people to like remember me for like jumping off a bridge or some shit into like shark infested waters like you know fuck man like that, that's not what i want to be remembered for by my music mm-hmm so what's the next steps you're taking, like short-term goals for your music? Oh man, short-term goals is setting up like I I gotta like a makeshift studio right now. Like it, it's pretty, okay. it's actually a pretty nice studio, like how it is, but it's not like crazy nice. But um, I'm just trying to set up a better studio, you know, and then keep recording and recording and recording and busting out tracks. I'm gonna bust out a, a a fat EP soon. It's gonna be sick. So do you have someone producing for you, or do you also do that? Yourself? I I just produce myself most of the time. Um, or I have a. Uh, this guy beats by con that's his name he mm-hmm. this guy i asked him f- if i could use his beat right there to for the i'm chosen and uh he was like yeah like use it free like you got it like that's all cool because he blessed me you know like that he didn't make me play no exclusive or anything and i came back with 16k players and he hit me up on soundcloud he's like yo this is sick man like that's dope like i appreciate that you know okay and so what What's the like the family and friends support like? Because I know some people, when they're sitting and taking music, it's hard for other people around to like, uh, like actually get into it. And, like, man, they see it as just like a, 
Yeah, not yeah. a joke, but like you know, not not, not a job, actual, you know? yeah. You know, so not, what's not an income, you know? yeah, what's yeah, yeah. My my pops, some um, my pops, yeah. He uh, he's like, yeah, no, like go get into a trade or some shit, you know. My mom's is sort of supportive, but she's like, yo, like you got to do some shit regardless, right? Yeah. So like that's how it is, but I think that's how it really is for a lot of uh, people who are trying to get into music. Like mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know a lot of parents who are really supportive about that right off the bat. Like you know, I don't know. That's just how it is. And my friends, on the other hand, they're they're pretty supportive about that. Like, you know, they're always, like, uh, reposting my shit whenever I drop something, like, listen to my music, like, all that. Okay. Do you find, like, the feedback, I don't know, just maybe on, like, comments, people outside of your friends, like, is mostly positive, or do you get a lot of hate? Oh, boy. If I, if I got a lot of hate, I'd probably be famous by now. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> fuck, man. I don't know if you know, but you had a... Uh, young young Fozzie come through for an interview one time here right? yeah yeah i don't know why like i he's cool but like uh he gets a lot of hate eh yeah he gets a lot of hate i don't know <laughs> <laughs> he's so cool with that and i was like he was so young but he's like i think he deals with it well he does, does like, it pretty like, well, he doesn't yeah. let it bother me i can't lie it's like okay that's good that's good for you because like that's why the reason that main reason i kind of got him on here is because like he was young and he was doing his own thing yeah you know and he, he's just starting out and like he's kind of like doing it by himself so I was like, okay, I really yeah, hate yeah. that. Do you see, like, more people, like, other than young fans, like, do you know who are going through, like, that hate? Like, wh- what is your take on that when you see them? I know a couple people. I know I know people who are just trying to make it and promote themselves. Mm-hmm. They finally got to doing shows and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but they're, like, little shows, obviously. Like, uh, my boy CNKP, I got my boy K-Mac, like, all of them. Uh, they be starting to run shows now, but, like, they're not really picking up, you know? So they're yeah. having the struggles, too. Like, I don't know, man. It's just, like, I think everybody struggles with it a little bit, you know? That's all it is. But if you were to get that, like, all of a sudden, everybody's up on your comments all the time and just giving you, like, a whole bunch of like, shit. Yeah. Like, do you think it'll ever get to you? Because some people are like, oh, nah, it won't get to me. But, like, inside of, like, nah. Uh, uh, honest, bro, I get pretty angry pretty quick, so it'll probably mm-hmm. get to me. But, like, just, you know, the thing I learned is just take a step back, right? Like, you know, these are just people that are hating on you. If they're hating on you, like, there's a reason for that. I feel like it sort of comes with this sometimes, you too. You know, like, whatever. It's just, like, it. any publicity is good publicity, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, ev- like, at a certain point, you know? Yeah. Unless it's, like, you know, like, Bill Cosby or some shit. Because <laughs> fuck that. So who are sort of your, Im- who do you think could have like, influenced your sound? Because the one thing I, when I played your music, I'm like, this guy's voice is deep as shit. Yeah. So I'm like, what, who sort of like, who do you yeah. feel like sort of influenced that? Or is it just you? Uh, it, it's, it's a lot of me. Uh, but like when you hear me like singing on a track or doing some like next shit or like something sad like that, it's, it's like a lot of like uh, alternative stuff. Like, you know, like it's alternative and it's also rap together in one thing. Like, you know, uh, who influenced me? It's gonna sound pretty cringy, but like uh, Lil Peep, really? Uh, yeah, for real, Lil Peep. Uh, mm-hmm. I fucking, I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite, but I fucking hated his music, and then like I listened to it after he died, and, and like I don't know, it kind of like, it's it sucks that I'm saying it, but it inspired mm-hmm. me after, you know, the fact, and uh, I don't know, I just started like I said, you know what, I'm gonna start making music. I've been waiting to do this for years, and that's what inspired me to do this, and I think a little bit of that comes like from where I get my sound, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I don't, I don't listen to him. And but like when he, I heard he passed, it surprised me. Yeah, I feel you. Because I was like, like I still remember where I was. Like, I got the fucking laundry man. And like, it was like <laughs> if it came up, and I was like, I was like, what? Like, this guy passed. I'm like, damn. Yeah, you know. I was like, it's crazy. But just to see like him and X, like the, the amount of people who like really connected with him, I was like, okay. Like I never hated on him. It's just music, and everybody has their preferences. Exactly but, like, right. It was like wow like that's amazing just to see like would you want to have like that same effect because it's powerful like it you want to see like seriously. people where not even just in music but like they'll get their like, tattoos they'll dye their hair they'll copy the way you dress and, you and, speak and and you've seen how many people have peep tattoos on their arms or wherever on their chest wherever exactly, they put yeah. them. it's crazy man like i get that and uh of course like one day like i sort of want to be like that but i don't want to have that much of an influence on people like you know mm. because like I know a lot of, like, I wasn't into him at the time, so it wasn't so much for me, obviously, but a lot of people, when he passed, were just, like, super sad, depressed. Like, I don't even yeah. know how long, man. Like, I know people who still post on Instagram, they're like, oh, like, every single every day, day yeah. about him. Yeah, like, still you know. Miss you. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. Like, that, when you're at, like, that point, like, yeah, it's cool, but, like, you're held up to such a, like, 
standard where people are just like, yo, what's so good about this guy? You know what I mean? Because yeah, exactly. Be, like, let's say someone who's not really in the circle doesn't listen to him and be like, okay, um, if they see kids tattooing him and whatever, they're like, what what is it about him, really? And they're going to just question that. You know what I mean? So Especially, it's just like, yeah, no doubt. Especially since, uh, I don't know, the the way that he died, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. all it is. And it just, yeah. But all right, little peep for sure. I'm like, that's I'm not surprised honestly, because when no, I no, sort no. of I sort of got that vibe, I felt like cause I don't know. I, I I sort of just like make prediction based kind of like the the look. So like I I I couldn't name one track, but like just from his look, yeah, I feel, I you. feel like I okay, that. like I get it. <laughs> get where you're coming from. You can feel so the like, vibe, you know. Yeah. yeah. All right. So is there anything else you want to say? Uh. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna like this, but yo, shout out Manic Supply. That's uh, that's my boy's clothing company. You know, he he's been working real hard at it. He's got some sick ass clothes too. I think he uh, designed like a nice ass sweater with Manic on it. Mm. Uh, shout out all the Roach boys out here, and uh, shout out my girl for being here with me. You know, yes. yeah, that's, <laughs> that's probably it, bro. <laughs> this is a point. Okay, so what's what's the next thing? What's the next thing people can look out for? Oh man, uh, I'm definitely dropping. You're gonna see an EP soon. The EP, yeah, uh, fat That's EP. Nice. Okay. People are gonna bump that shit like crazy. Okay, so you heard that the next EP. Do you have a title there? No. Oh, buddy, can I give it out? Tell, I'm not gonna tell Can't you. Can I give buddy. it Sorry. out? It's gonna okay. be surprised. Okay, That's fine. We'll look out for it, and you know we'll definitely support it. Roach Boy Slim, thank you so much for coming through. It's been a good talk. Uh, respects, man. Easy B. All right, we out.